What's going on guys, Flex Strats here, and this is just a quick review on Team of the Week 36 or 37 is it? The June the 6th uh, Team of the Week. Up front we've got Kazakov, 90 pace, 89 shooting, 80 dribbling, 80 heading. He looks like a really good player, I reckon he'll go for about 25k. As he has a striker, well left winger. We got Affleck, 90 pace, 85 shooting, 80 passing, 87 dribbling. He will probably go for about, I'd say about 30k, because he's four star skill. He's fast, the shooting stats really good for a winger, and he plays for Barca. As a centre attacker mid, we got the Santos. He's got 86 pace, 80 shooting, 70 passing, 87 dribbling. I reckon he'd go for about 18k, because at the end of the day, he's got good pace, reasonable shooting, and really good dribbling. And he's an 83 prem uh, Barclays Premiership player who plays for Tottenham. And I also think he's forced that skill. Left mid, we got Schurler. He's got 91 pace, 87 shooting, 83 dribbling. I reckon he could go for about 30k, because Edrips FIFA uh, did a video on him before, and that rose awareness of him. And for a left midfielder, 87 shooting's insane. He's got the pace as well. He's also forced that skill. As a centre mid, we got... Duz I, I can't pronounce that name, but he's got... Pretty good all uh, stat attacking stats. He's got 84 pace, 85 shooting, 84 passing, 83 dribbling. He'll be about 15k because he's in the Russian league and 84 pace isn't amazing for a left mid. As he has a centre mid, we got Diara. He's got really good defensive stats: 88 defending, 89 heading. He'd be a really good. He, he'd make a really good CDM. That's probably why he's there, and I reckon he could go for about 20k only because of those stats. As a right mid, well, centre mid, we got Sh Shirokov. He will be about 10k because his team of the season card's only 12k, and I don't see this going for much more, to be honest. He's got really good stats, and he is actually a really good player, but he's just underrated and low rating. He's got 76 pace, 70. 6 passing, 72 dribbling, 76 defending. The other stats aren't that good, but some of them, are, well, he's, he's going to be a discard value player. At left back, we got Cleachy. He will go for about 40k, I'm guessing, because he's got 90 pace, 80 passing, 82 dribbling, 84 defending, and 72 heading, which is really good for left back, and he plays for Man City and he's French, and there are a lot of French teams, and there's not much really good in form French left back, so I reckon he could go for quite a lot. This guy, Papadopoulos, or if that's how you pronounce his name, he won't go for nothing, I don't reckon. Saying I could, though, because he's in the Bundesliga. He's got 85 heading, 81 defending, 70 pace, which is pretty decent for a centre-back. As the other centre-back, we got Daniel Agger. I reckon he could go for about 40k as well, because he's got 70 pace, 72 shooting, and he also has a really good long shot. He has 70 passing, 88 defending, 82 heading, which is really good. And in goals, we got an inform form Feyev. He is a really good keeper, the normal card of him. So I can see this card going for about 25k. He has 89 diving, 84 handling, 85 kicking, 92 reflexes, and 80 positioning. On the bench, we got Karana. Pretty good stats for a goalkeeper. 80 diving, 78 handling, 77 kicking, 81 reflexes, 81 positioning. He'll be discard value simply because of his league and rating. As he has a, as a centre back, we got Bala. I can't. He'll be discard value too, even though he does have 88 defending and 85 heading, which is really good. I think he plays in the era Divisi. Let's just check. Yeah, he does. And there, I honestly doubt he will be worth much. Um, as a striker, as a striker on the bench, we got AU. He plays for Ghana, Marseille. He he'll be discard value too because those stats aren't. I'm not gonna lie, they're not great at all for a striker. As a right wing, I can't pronounce his name, but anyway, he's got 81 pace, 82 shooting, 83 dribbling, 70 passing, 70 heading. He won't go for much either. He has a another player from same nationality and same club as in team of the week. I just realised he's got 78 pace, 80 shooting, 75 passing, 82 dribbling. Once again, he'll be discard value. Uh, everyone on the bench, other than him, probably won't be discard value. But the other player, we got Ballot, 80 pace, 80 shooting, 79 heading, and 70 dribbling. 
As a centre back, yeah, we got Bej Elland. He's got 68 pace, 60 shooting, 63 passing, 60 dribbling, 80 heading, 78 at uh, 80 defending, 78 heading. He won't. I'd say he go for about 10k as he plays in the Superliga, but he has a silver in form, so yeah, he should be with uh, about 10k. The starting lineup of the team of the week is really good, but then the bench just lets it down really. So it's not exactly a great team of the week, but it's all right. Now. Hopefully, uh, the rest of the world team of the season will be out, and then after that, the market crash should be over, so I can get back to trading. I'll bring out some trading strategies, and if you want a giveaway, thumbs up a comment below, and I'm out. Peace.